everyone and welcome to my first doll repaint video of 2023 happy new year everyone and i'm actually going to start this year with making a doll that i was planning to make a couple of months ago literally i was planning to make this rapunzel doll somewhere between my halloween and christmas special so i've asked my mom to make an outfit for her my mom created a dress that looked exactly like rapunzel's dress she sent it to me and then this package just disappeared. I have no idea what went wrong, but I really thought it was already lost forever, but now it suddenly appeared again. So my mom shipped this package somewhere mid-October, and I received it in the end of December, literally for Christmas. So I have no idea what went wrong, but I'm very happy that I still have this dress, that this dress is not lost forever. I'm really happy to receive it. So, and today we are finally going to make this doll. Today we are finally going to make the Rapunzel. She's actually one of my favorite Disney princesses. She's very funny. I really love this Disney adaptation. So let's make a very cute, very interesting, very funny, very charismatic, Matic Rapunzel doll. Of course guys, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and of course support my art here on YouTube with your likes, it's all very important for my channel. Well, and now let's start working. I decided to use Draculaura as a model for my future Rapunzel. I think she has the needed level of cuteness. And this is a regular old Draculaura. There is nothing really special about her. So let's quickly get rid of her outfit, hair, face, and then I will start working on her new look. Okay, everything is gone and now I want to give her new super long blonde hair. So first of all I will cover her head with light color acrylics and then I will insert strands of new hair into the holes in her head. her new hair a couple of hours later everything looks very good so now let's add some tacky glue inside of the head to fix her hair in place and then I will wait for a couple of days to let this glue dry completely And then when 
everything seems to be dry, I can spray her face with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I will start drawing her face. Of course, I want her to be super cute, I told it already. She will have big green eyes and very, very natural makeup. Yes, I think it looks good, so now let's blush her body to make it the same color like the face and then I will spray on some freckles to the cheeks and to her body.
Okay, the face and the body look really great to me, so now I think I want to style her hair really quickly because it's not that difficult. You know, Rapunzel wears her hair down, she keeps it straight, so I just need to make this doll's hair more smooth and pretty and I don't have to curl doll hairs for hours today. So this is it, I think she looks absolutely gorgeous with her beautiful long hair. So now let's attach false lashes, add gloss to her eyes and lips, and then we'll take a look at my mom works, how she managed to recreate the Rapunzel's dress. Rapunzel wears a pink and purple dress and it actually combines different shades of pink and purple like her skirt is darker and the top is a little bit lighter uh, then the dress is decorated with embroidery and it has these typical medieval sleeves kind of similar to the snow white sleeves the dress isn't too long, it's approximately till her ankles, exposing her bare feet so actually for once I don't have to work on a pair of shoes for my doll so, and now you can see my mom recreating this outfit. And by the way, if you have any good ideas of interesting dresses or outfits that my mom could have created in the new year, please write them in the comments under this video. I feel like we need some boost of inspiration and you always help us with that. So, we're looking for some interesting characters who wear interesting outfits to work on them in the new year. So, please, all your suggestions are very welcome in the comments. This is the finished outfit, finally arrived to me, I cannot believe it really, it would be such a pity to lose this dress, because I think it looks exactly like the one in the movie, super cute, super detailed and very 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 beautiful. Okay, now let's work on different accessories and make some tiny details for my doll. And you know, I really like that Rapunzel spends a lot of time painting, I really adore the painter princess, so I want to make a painting for my mini Rapunzel and look, I have this adorable tiny easel with a tiny canvas. I've got it as a gift from one of you already a while ago and now it's time finally has come, I'm very happy about it and today I want to recreate that one 
some painting that Rapunzel was working on. The one with lights or these lanterns. I think it would be absolutely perfect if I could recreate that painting scene from the movie. The problem is that I'm not really an expert in painting landscapes. <laughs> I'm more like into people, into faces. But I will really try to do my best. And it doesn't look bad at all, check it out guys. I'm so happy with the end result, you know, I'm always so scared of doing new things, things that are not typical for me. And then it always turns out way better than I expected. So now I still need to make a palette and a brush for my painting princess to finish this painting scene.
okay, all the painting tools are finished, but we are not done yet. We are not done yet because I really want to make Pascal, the Rapunzel's pet chameleon. And I want to test my new 3D printer that I've bought exactly a year ago, but I had simply no time to see if it works, really. I never even connected it to the electricity socket, but it should be a really good one with 8K printing quality. So, let's see. Wow, the printing went really smooth, everything worked from the first try and I've printed a bunch of adorable chameleons in different sizes because I don't really know which one will be perfect. So now I will wash and cure them and then we'll make a decision which one to choose. Well, the biggest one is clearly too big, because normally Rapunzel can hold Pascal in her hand. So I will probably go for the smallest one, or yeah, or the middle one is also not bad. No, the smallest one, the smallest one is the best, so let's now paint him. guys this is the finished Rapunzel and you know I'm so happy I went for all these painting accessories because they've made the whole project so much more special and interesting and the tiny Pascal also brings a lot of fun to the scene my mom's outfit is really as close as it can be to the original Rapunzel's dress so I'm also very happy about it and I'm also very glad that it didn't disappear in transit it would be such a shame really this, this beautiful dress so guys, please don't forget to submit your dress ideas or doll ideas in general for my mom and for me to work on in 2023. We're looking forward to seeing what you're going to suggest. And this doll is right now available for sale on eBay for three days. The link is in the description box under this video. So please check it out if you're interested. So guys, and that was it for today. That was my doll transformation of the week. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if so, please don't forget to support my art here on YouTube with your likes, of course subscribe to my channel, hit the bell button to get notified about my new doll repaint videos and I will see you very soon in two weeks on Friday. There will be no video next week because I'm going on holidays. Finally guys, I had a very productive period this autumn, beginning of the winter. I worked really hard starting from August until now without a single day free. So now I think I've deserved a week somewhere on the beach in Cabo Verde. It will be so beautiful. I'm really excited about it and we're living literally like in what in 24 no in 36 hours probably so i just have a little bit time to finish this video and then we are gone so guys and that was it for today i hope you have a great weekend love you bye <music>